Hello and welcome back to the Reddit Kitty channel. My name is Jade and first of all I want to thank you guys for as of recording this of over 20 views on the last video. And I also want to thank Ghosty Pants for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And just a fair warning. Uh, before I start, I just want to tell you that there will be a lot of different camera angles for at the video because I tried my best to get the right angle, but I just really wasn't satisfied with the angles I got until I I finally found the right angle. So uh, please be aware of that uh, as we're going on. Thank you, and let's get right into our first post. The first post is from Siap is Best. I hope I pronounced that right, because there's a lot of numbers in that username. Girls will pound themselves silly and piece of plastic, leave a good man and love them till the end of time in the friend zone. Tony. If someone leaves you for a piece of plastic, it's not the piece of plastic. Blue's got a fair point. I mean, if a woman leaves you for a piece of plastic or anything else besides you, then there is a huge problem with you, not only as a person, but as a potential soulmate. Our next post is from Queen of Lemons. A dark eyes. Use a guy's strength. It's just psychologically damaging because use a girl's for sex. Sets so up like the way of a dark eyes like this. I don't care. Boy, did you, did you just compare the friend zone? To rape? That is not okay. Please take that into consideration the next time you talk to somebody or vent to somebody. Either that or go see a therapist. Please. For the next person's sake. Our next post is from Buffalo Grammy 1930. A former self-aware nice guy. In my early 20s, I used to have a bunch of resentment towards the girls that weren't interested in me back in the days when I was into anime and rock music. I thought they just didn't like nice guys. Then I saw a pic of myself from back then, and I was ugly as fuck, looking musty, and had a silk drag button up. So yeah. My bad. Well, we could give a round of applause to this guy for seeing the error of his ways and changing for the better. I am very proud of you, and I hope you continue to improve and find the person that you're looking for. Now why? It's because it's rare to see nice guys and nice girls see the error of their ways and just basically change. That's a rare thing, like, with choosing the beggars seeing the error of their ways and, and or being very nice as a person they're begging from. It's like a rare sight like a unicorn, but it's a pleasant one, to say the least. Our next post is from No Normal Dog. This entire subreddit. Random guy. Do. No. Oh. It's funny because it's true. We can't deny it. Because that's how nice guys and nice girls do. By the way, that's a spoiler for next weekend's episode. So stay tuned for that. Our next post is from Miss Amber Jade. Listed iPhone for sale on Facebook. 
They told the women shouldn't fear rape. Are you so sorry for the iPhone? Yes, I am. Then can come get it. I should be free to meet up somewhere tomorrow. But I just said you're a human. So much. There's Starbucks on this particular road. Why don't you go to your house? Starbucks would be great. I don't usually give out my address. Really? Because you're a woman, really? Just don't really want strangers come to my house. Silly. So, what time at the Starbucks? To be honest, it's so silly the way women are about men. There's no reason to be scared of men and avoid giving out your address. You can trust me. I'm the nice guy. It's not personal. I just don't want anyone, I don't know, a man or a woman having my address. So, what time would be good? Just ridiculous the way things have become. The whole feminist movement has really made men the bad guys. When in reality, it's the women that's fearing nothing. Actually, you're safe, and women don't experience harassment. They claim it's all BS to make me look bad. Excuse me, what the fuck? Oh, it just gets worse. Trust me. Dude, do you want the iPhone or no? I don't know what you're going on about. You're mansplaining that women have no reason to fear? What? I'm just taking the opportunity to educate women about the reality of the world. The fear is in their heads. I'm a nice guy, nothing to fear. Okay, I'm assuming you don't want it. What are you going on about? Do you have a boyfriend by chance? The proves no all men are bad. You're cute by the way. You can trust me for real. Nothing to fear. Hello? Where'd you go? See, this is the problem. It's the perfectly nice guy trying to explain to you the reality of life. Trying to show you that your fear is the only threat to yourself and over women. Stop fearing rape and things and you'll stop attracting the bad energy. Let me come over and you'll see I won't rape you. Then you can trust men. Are you trolling me? Is this real? No, I'm just tired of women saying they'll be raped or whatever. It's not a thing. It's actually very rarely happens, but women lie a lot. I bet if I showed you the thick cock to the pants, you'd change your mind and want to be raped. Like you sluts, just die. Stop ignoring me. You women ignore nice guys when they cross your path. Could have sold a phone and met a nice man, but no. You and your stuck-up ways can't wait until this BS female Nazi shit is over. Go die, whore! Oh, when stuck-up bitches weed themselves out, makes it easy for us guys. Gumdrop, sorry to me to sin. Have a good night, trash. Oh, Lord of Jesus, where do I begin? Imagine being so far up your ass that you think sexual assault doesn't exist. I mean, 
I can't imagine being a sexual assault victim and just hearing that with my own ears. I can't imagine how hurt I would be. I mean, that's just so awful. And I'm sorry to anyone who's been in that situation for this guy's dim-wittedness. Fragile ego must have been so fragile that just a woman saying that he doesn't want her at her house caused him to blow up on her and just call her every name under the sun and just went off on this tangent. I'm a nice guy. Let me come over to your Looking back on that line, it just makes me think that what he actually meant to say was, I'm a nice guy. Let me come over to your house so I can rape you. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Our final post is from Phenomenal Pancake. At least some justice was served. Hi. Um, sorry I didn't shoot you a text back yesterday. Just want to be honest. I'm not sure if I feel a huge connection with you. Um, I don't want to like, start telling you anything. I'm not like I have been doing all this network with the friends. Hashtag screenshot, hashtag fix with the material, hashtag going on social media, hashtag life heard. I have 5,000 people on my Facebook. This is perfect. Hashtag go fuck yourself. I'll read this text Friday night. I have people coming from Jan 94.5 to see me. I'll make you famous. <laughs> Posted. <laughs> Posted. Literally gonna make you the most hated person in the city this week. <laughs> See you later, psycho. Thanks for the material. I swear on my mother's life. I will make everyone in this city hate you. You should move or I'll get you banned in every single bar too. I'll do that. Good one. I have so many people laughing at you right now. You do this right before my show. Literally so dumb. You're an idiot. Fuck you. You're not even my type either. You're some dumb entitled bitch. Who has had everything given to her. And probably gets her snatch stretched up by every dude she meets on like a geyser one. Go duck yourself. Your vagina probably reeks of trying to steam you. Attention! Nice guy will not be performing at this bar this weekend. We do not condone this behavior at all. This show has already been cancelled and we are dealing with the matter moving forward. Well, it's good to see that the bar has cancelled this show, because, rightfully so, this behavior is not acceptable. And while I was looking through the comments on this post, did you guys know that there is an article about this guy? No shit. It goes into detail about him after the messages. And he's basically trying to grab sympathy points because his life was quote unquote ruined. So, um, uh, yeah, I'll post that down below in the description. 
so this concludes another video on the Reddit TV channel. Have a great evening, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. So please like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you really want to. And stay tuned for next Saturday when we talk about nice girls. Goodbye!